Understanding the distinction between hard money and private money lenders is essential for individuals seeking financing options for real estate investments or other ventures. While both types of lenders provide alternative sources of funding outside of traditional banks, they differ in terms of their sources of capital, lending criteria, and terms of financing. By gaining a clear understanding of the differences between hard money and private money lenders, borrowers can make informed decisions that align with their financial goals and needs. In this comprehensive guide, we explore the nuances of hard money and private money lending and provide insights to help borrowers navigate the complexities of alternative lending options effectively. Defining hard money and private money lenders. Hard money lenders are typically professional lending companies or individuals who provide short-term loans secured by real estate collateral. They often specialize in financing fix and flip projects or other real estate investments that may not qualify for traditional bank financing. Private money lenders, on the other hand, are individuals or groups of individuals who lend their own capital to borrowers for various purposes, including real estate investments, business ventures, or personal loans. While both types of lenders offer alternative financing solutions, they differ in their sources of capital and lending practices. Source of capital. One of the primary distinctions between hard money and private money lenders lies in the source of their capital. Hard money lenders typically raise funds from institutional investors, private equity firms or hedge funds, which they then use to originate loans. These lenders often have established lending criteria and underwriting standards based on the preferences of their investors. Private money lenders, on the other hand, use their own personal funds or funds pooled from a network of individual investors to finance loans. They may have more flexibility in their lending criteria and terms, as they are not beholden to external investors. Lending criteria and terms. Hard money lenders typically have strict lending criteria and may require borrowers to meet specific qualifications, such as minimum credit scores, down payment requirements, and property valuation criteria. They often focus on the value of the underlying collateral rather than the borrower's creditworthiness or financial history. Hard money loans typically have shorter loan terms, higher interest rates, and additional fees compared to traditional bank loans. Private money lenders, on the other hand, may have more flexibility in their lending criteria and terms, as they are not bound by institutional guidelines. They may be more willing to consider factors such as the borrower's character, experience, and relationship with the lender when evaluating loan applications. Purpose of financing. Hard money loans are often used to finance real estate investments, such as fix and flip projects, rental property acquisitions, or construction projects. These loans are typically short-term in nature, with repayment terms ranging from six months to a few years. Hard money lenders may also provide bridge financing for borrowers who need short-term capital to fund a real estate transaction or bridge a financing gap. Private money loans, on the other hand, can be used for a variety of purposes, including real estate investments, small business financing, or personal loans. These loans may have more flexible terms and repayment schedules, depending on the agreement between the borrower and the lender. Risk and return profile. Both hard money and private money loans carry inherent risks for lenders and borrowers alike. Hard money lenders mitigate their risk by securing their loans with real estate collateral, which provides a level of protection in the event of default. However, these loans may still carry higher risk due to factors such as property market fluctuations, borrower default or project delays. As a result, hard money lenders typically charge higher interest rates and fees to compensate for the increased risk. Private money lenders may also face risks associated with lending capital to borrowers, but they may have more flexibility in structuring loans and negotiating terms to mitigate risk. Depending on the nature of the loan and the borrower's creditworthiness, private money lenders may offer competitive interest rates and terms that align with the risk profile of the investment. Relationship with borrowers. The relationship between borrowers and lenders can vary significantly depending on whether the lender is a hard money lender or a private money lender. Hard money lenders often have established lending criteria and underwriting standards that borrowers must meet to qualify for financing. These lenders may have less personal interaction with borrowers and may prioritize the value of the underlying collateral over other factors. Private money lenders, on the other hand, may have a more personalized approach to lending 
and may be more willing to consider factors such as the borrower's character, experience, and relationship with the lender. Borrowers who have established trust and rapport with private money lenders may have greater flexibility in negotiating terms and accessing capital for their projects. Due diligence and documentation. Whether working with hard money lenders or private money lenders, borrowers should conduct thorough due diligence and ensure that they understand the terms and conditions of the loan agreement. Both types of lenders may require borrowers to provide documentation, such as property appraisals, financial statements, and project plans to support their loan applications. Borrowers should carefully review the terms of the loan agreement, including interest rates, fees, repayment terms, and any additional provisions or requirements. It's essential to work with reputable lenders who are transparent and responsive to borrowers' questions and concerns throughout the lending process. Exit Strategy When obtaining financing from hard money or private money lenders, borrowers should have a clear exit strategy in place to repay the loan in full. Hard money loans are typically short-term in nature, with balloon payments due at the end of the loan term. Borrowers may plan to sell the property, refinance with a traditional lender, or use other sources of capital to repay the loan. Private money loans may offer more flexibility in terms of repayment, but borrowers should still have a viable plan for repaying the loan on time and in full. It's essential to communicate openly with the lender about the exit strategy and ensure that both parties are aligned on the timeline and expectations for repayment. Risk management and mitigation. Whether borrowing from hard money or private money lenders, borrowers should take steps to mitigate risks and protect their interests throughout the lending process. Conduct thorough due diligence on the property or project being financed, including inspections, title searches and market analysis. Consider working with experienced professionals, such as real estate agents, attorneys or financial advisors, who can provide guidance and expertise. Have contingency plans in place to address unexpected challenges or setbacks that may arise during the course of the project. By proactively managing risks and addressing potential issues up front, borrowers can increase their chances of success and minimize the likelihood of default or financial loss. Building relationships for future opportunities, whether working with hard money lenders or private money lenders, borrowers should view the lending relationship as an opportunity to build trust and rapport for future opportunities. Maintain open lines of communication with the lender and demonstrate professionalism and integrity throughout the lending process. By fostering positive relationships with lenders, borrowers may gain access to additional financing options, referrals or strategic partnerships that can support their long-term growth and success. Cultivate a network of lenders, investors and industry professionals who can provide support and guidance as you navigate the complexities of alternative lending options. Understanding the differences between hard money and private money lenders is essential for borrowers seeking alternative financing options for real estate investments or other ventures. While both types of lenders offer alternative sources of funding outside of traditional banks, they differ in terms of their sources of capital, lending criteria, and terms of financing. By gaining a clear understanding of the nuances of hard money and private money lending, borrowers can make informed decisions that align with their financial goals and needs. Whether borrowing from hard money lenders or private money lenders, it's essential to conduct thorough due diligence, communicate openly, and have a clear plan for repaying the loan. By leveraging alternative financing options effectively, borrowers can access the capital they need to pursue their projects and achieve their objectives in the competitive world of real estate investing and entrepreneurship.